Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and it's Purple Post Day. Um, so I have one of my favourite, if not my overall favourite, if I had to pick one, I have a few, um, artists that Diamond Art Studio do. Um, and this is a release for this Thursday, uh, the 25th at 6pm BST, British summertime, of which we are experiencing some summer weather at the moment, which is rather nice. So I'm torn between being inside and sorting out the garden. Anyway, this is a gorgeous new release. I'm not sure if anybody can guess the artist um, that I absolutely love. I say there are a few, there are a few that I'm drawn to. Um, this artist, so far, I think I'd have pretty much every single one of their paintings. <laughs> and be perfectly happy with that. But this say is a new release for Thursday. And if I start unboxing it or uncurling it slowly from the top, you will probably be able to guess the minute I sort of go like that. So it has the signature white background. Uh, this one is a 50 by 50. And this is a Splatterworks. I absolutely love Splatterworks. I have zero problem with the bulk white background. I actually really enjoy it. Though this one probably has some of the least bulk white background um, of the paintings that I have from Splatterworks at the moment. So these are by Catherine Williams. And here is the sheet. Look at him or her. I'm going for a him. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous koala with lots of colour more on the koala than the colour of the koala spreading out. But yeah, I have a few. I have done Mr Quackers, but I have a few other splatter works that are in my stash. They're actually one of the ones... Um, if you've seen my previous whipping chats, I've discussed that there are that there are some that I really want to do earlier than others for a specific reason, but then there are others that I'm really itching to do another one of, and a splatterworks is one of them. I don't mind which one of my splatterworks, but I want to do another splatterworks. I find this block in the white with the colour, then appearing throughout. I find it so therapeutic when I get to a big block of white and there's never enough for me to get fully bored. But this has 44 different colours. Um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. We do have four bags of 5200 but otherwise I'm trying to sort of spread them out a little bit. They've got a little bit shuffled while it's been stood waiting to be unboxed. But look at some of these real pops of colour. So we've got a hot pink, we've got a bright turquoise, we've got some purples, peaches, more peaches, some blues, a few different variants of grey, green, beige, etc. And some lilac and some yellow mustardy type colour, some oranges, absolutely gorgeous array of colours. So it is a true 50 by 50. I have the square version of this. All my splatter works I have in square. I also oh, I have the pug, I have the sloth. I'm trying to think the others that I have. I know there's more. I know there's more. I have, I have a few splatter works that I want to do. But yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous ones. And I'm always so excited when these ones come out. No questions. 
splatter works required thank you ever so much um so yeah i will pop a link to the splatter works diamond paintings in the description down below of course this one will appear on thursday so tomorrow uh the 25th of may at 6 p.m i'm pretty sure launches at 6 p.m bst british summer time so if you want to know what time that is in your country then just pop into google uh, 6 p.m bst in whatever your time zone is and it will let you know um, also the splatter works it's the charity ribbon that i'm actually doing for my june waffle which starts next week so yeah i do i am a fan of the splatter works and i will have some of this gorgeous white background to do as well but i love this this like tree that the koala is holding on to i just love the colorings in it it's like a watercolor but it's a diamond painting um, I'm not sure if they're originally done in watercolour. It actually looks like they may be. If you look at the original image, you can sort of see by some of these splatters that I think this one at least is done in a watercolour or primarily. It could be a mixture of different mediums. Um, but yeah, I've also been got a couple of coasters as well I have a Mr Quackers coaster and a Mr Sloth coaster uh, as well as a Mr Sloth mug that was kindly gifted to me so yeah I am a very big fan of Splatterworks if I do keep going on about them but they have some absolutely gorgeous and amazing animals so I will pop the link down below directly to Splatterworks and once the new products launch you will be able to find Koala there as well he does need a name Keith I was gonna say Kevin the Koala but I'm thinking Keith might be a bit more of an Australian name though it's a British name as well do let me know if I'm wrong. What is a what is a popular Australian male name? Because I've got in my head is male now, beginning with a K. Um, and maybe I will change his name. <laughs> I don't even know where I've got Keith from. Um, yeah, I keep trying to think. See. Yeah, I keep trying to think. Give me an Australian name. Australian subscribers, Bob, a male Australian name in there for me so that I can give him a permanent name. Um, but yeah, I say I'll pop links down below. Thank you everybody so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.